Since I've been filming a yoga video, and I apologize for that, I had um, a difficult last uh, last year, and towards the end of my pregnancy, I ended up having a C-section with Harley. Um, she had to be taken a little bit early just due to some complications. So anyways, this video is going to be great for anyone who's just had a baby or maybe just getting back into the practice. I know for myself, this has been a very humbling experience because having a C-section has definitely um, set me back. Just uh, don't feel like myself quite yet. So this video is going to be great for either beginners or someone who just had a baby or also um, someone who had a C-section. So I put Harley to have some belly time and she actually fell asleep. So again, if you, want, if you have your baby nearby, this is a great time to let them have some belly time. I put her down to have some belly time and um, she was cooing so I got down and played with her and then she fell asleep. So this is a great time where you're actually awake and you can watch your baby have some belly time. Um, so that's just an idea. You can also have the bouncer or any other sort of way that you want to entertain your baby. Um, it's not going to be a long video but it's a great time um, to try to incorporate both. And of course you can always hold your baby during some of the poses that we're going to do but sometimes it's also difficult. So go ahead and just take a comfortable seated position, close your eyes, and we'll just start with some head circles here. So just rolling it around, which sure there is a lot of tension built up, maybe in the back of your, um, I can't even talk, I feel like part of my brain is, has gone just due to uh, all the demands that having an infant um, require. But anyways. And then just sort of rocking back and forth here, just curling in, letting your head get into the action. So chin into your chest, rocking forward, chest forward. You can drop your head back, rocking back, and rocking forward. And again, just incorporating everything here. So really squeezing your shoulder blades together as you come forward, and really rounding and pushing them out as you round back. And then go ahead and come on to all fours. Bring your shoulders right over your wrists and your hips over your knees. And I'm going to take my knees, so I said hips right over your knees, I'm going to take my knees back. So now my hips are in front and I'm just going to roll around here, just really stretching. I know that I feel I spend a good majority of my time just sort of nursing Harley. So a lot of the back is probably feeling tight. And even if you're not nursing, just things just automatically have tightened up. And then go ahead and come forward. And, and just full disclosure, this is actually my first yoga class back. So I just am six, Harley's just six weeks now. So this is my first coming back to the practice. Tuck your toes under, paddle your feet. You can shake your head and just move around here. Just letting everything warm up. Great. Roll forward to a plank pose. If you need to drop to your knees, drop to your knees, chaturanga. Push back up, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to a plank, chaturanga, plank, downward facing dog. Just really working on this strength aspect that has been missing for me. And going back, and I'm feeling a little bit tired, so I'm going to drop to my knees, chaturanga and then back. Put your right leg up and back, bend your knee, open up through your hip, big circle here, just moving it around, big circle in the other direction, and then step it forward. It's the outside of your right hand. And then from here, I'm just gonna allow myself to open. So I'm not even pushing here on my thigh, I'm just giving it some encouragement. And make sure you keep your ankle joint nice and tight here, so there's no sickling. Come back, take your hands down, and push back down or facing off. Let your left leg up and back. Bend your knee, open up. Take it in a circle. Other direction. Lift up and back. Step it forward. Drop your back knee down. And same thing. Just opening up here. I'm not pushing per se. Just giving some encouragement here. Really trying to open up and push it back. Again, just pedaling through the feet. And then slowly walk up to the top of your mat. And 
just gentle hang, bend your knees, shake your head. Just letting everything sort of relax here in the back body. And then roll on up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, go ahead and come on down into a squat with your hands into a prayer. Take your hands back. Lift them up alongside your ears. Take your hands back. And you can have your feet together for this. I'm just enjoying having them apart. Hip width. Take your hands back. Inhale up. One more time. Exhale your hands back. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold. And again, so this is my first practice back, so I'm feeling really tight here. So I'm going to keep a nice bend in my knees and really allow my low back to, to enjoy this stretch. And from here, I'm going to inhale halfway up, and I'm stepping back. It's been a while since I've practiced. Roll forward to a plank. And again, feel free to drop the knees down. Keep them lifted if you want. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Exhale, step it forward. Lift your arms alongside your ears. Feeling a little bit loss of balance. Exhale, take your left knee towards the ground and just have your hands back by your hips. So the closer your knee is to the ground, the bigger the stretch in that hip flexor. Inhale, lift the back leg back up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then from here, just drop your back knee to the ground. Take your hands by your front leg and flex your right toes towards your head as you straighten it back towards you. Take a micro bend in that right knee and dig your right heel into the ground. You should feel a stretch all the way up into that hamstring attachment the more you push into your heel. Great. And then from here, crawl it forward. Step it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, breathe forward, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your left leg up and back. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, breathe your arms up. Exhale, your hands down by your hips. Inhale, straighten that back leg. Exhale, and again, the closer that right knee is to your mat, the deeper the stretch in that right hip flexor. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one here. Exhale, your hands back. Take your hands down by your front foot. Drop your back knee. Straighten your left leg. Micro bend in your left knee and take that left heel into the ground. So really just enjoying the stretch. The more you push down in your left heel, the bigger the stretch in the back of the leg. Great. Just really enjoying that. Great. Walk it forward and step it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale. Downward facing dog, and again, just pedaling your feet. Shake your head. Great. And then from here, bring your right shin forward. And just sitting up nice and tall, just trying to get into that right hip, so moving into your pigeon pose. Just enjoying the stretch in the chest, though. Um, if you're nursing, or even if you're not nursing, just holding the baby, there's a lot of rounding in the chest. So just taking advantage of really opening up here. So pushing the chest forward here and then coming down. And again, if your baby was in the bouncer or if I had planned this a little better, I could have had the um, Harley right in front of me. And if she's awake, you can sort of coo at them back and forth, um, giving them that time again right there on their belly. Great. And then press back up and push back downward facing dog. And just pedal through your, through your feet again. Should feel probably a big difference between your right and your left side. And then lift your left leg up and back. And draw that left shin forward. Again, set yourself up here. Right? So really working your way up onto your fingertips. Pushing your chest forward here. Opening up. 
right? Because there's a lot of rounding going on. Um, like I said, when you're holding a baby, feeding a baby, nursing a baby, however you want to look at it. And then when you're ready, go ahead and walk your way on down. Just enjoy that stretch. Um, continue to really flex the toes of the knee that's bored, and that's going to help protect your knee joint if there's any sensitivity there. So just flexing those toes back towards your knee, your bent knee. And push yourself back up. Step it back, downward facing dog. Roll forward to a plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog here. And again, just pedaling your feet. Just really starting to feel the opening coming back to the body that's probably feel, felt like it hasn't really had much of a chance to do anything. Go ahead and come on down to your knees. Great, tuck your toes under. We'll just come into broken toe, toe pose for a second. Hands to your heart. This is a great time to just really feel grateful, right, for the blessings. And even all the hard things, you know, the baby crying, right, you still have all those blessings that come with. And then lean forward. Go ahead and swing your legs out in front of you. So if Harley was awake, this would be a great time to really work and play with her. But for now, I'll just let her sleep. So I'm going to come down onto my elbows. And if you need to prop them up on something a bit softer, that's, that's fine too. And then from here, I'm just going to lift my um, heels off the ground. So nothing crazy here. I'm just going to drop my right heel towards the ground and back up. And my left heel and back up. My right and my left. My right and my left. So if you had a C-section like I did, or if you have diastasis recti, probably didn't even say that right, um, you need to be really careful about your abdominal work. So definitely check in with your doctor. I know for me, my, my, I feel much better, but my incision, where the incision is, is still sensitive. So I'm just being extra gentle. And from here, I'm just going to lean my knees to the right and lean my knees to the left, right? And again, if this is too much, don't do it. This is not the time to be playing superhero, right? Superhero comes from the fact that you literally just had a baby, right? And then keep just back and forth. And I'm not dropping all the way towards the ground. I couldn't even if I wanted to, but again, just getting back into this nice and slow. This is my first workout back. So from here, I'm gonna drop both heels and slide out. Just using the floor, come in and up. Dropping down. Sliding out. So my heels are on the ground here, coming in and up. Dropping nice and slow down. Sliding out. In and up. And then go ahead and push yourself up. Bring your feet together, so nice and tall. And just lean forward. Right, just opening up here. If, you, if leaning forward is not that comfortable, sometimes I also, we'll just take my hands behind me and take this as an opportunity to incorporate a chest stretch as well. So just pushing the chest forward, bringing the shoulder blades together, and continuing to work my knees towards the ground without any force, right? Just using um, your own muscular action here and just letting that open for you. Great. And then go ahead and stretch your legs out in front of you, flex your feet. And again, I'm really tight, so I'm going to show you my secret. Bend my knees, kind of hook my armpits here into my, um, or my knees into my armpits rather. I'm just going to inch forward, right? And when I feel like I've lost contact with my knees, I'm not going to go any further. So for me right here, this is good. And I know that you've seen, you know, plenty of videos where the yogis completely flush on their legs and you know, flat out, but for now, if you're just coming back, it's not about, you know, reaching forward and holding here, right? I want you to feel the length in your back body as well, right? So it's, it's not about 
being fully extended. It's about getting the best stretch for your body and doing what feels good. And just keep that in mind. So if you don't look like me, don't worry about it. You want to make sure that this practice feels good and that you wake up feeling better than you did yesterday. So again, just staying right here, trying to flatten the back of the head, and of course relax down once you've gotten to your peak. And then working your way up. And then you can take a Shavasana, or if you want to do a quick seated meditation. I know for myself um, and some of my friends, anxiety can be something that happens a lot when you have a baby. And then just with uh, what's going on in the world, um, this may be a great chance for you to do just some sort of whatever you feel comfortable with, whether it's just sending your energy out for all of humanity, or if you want to pray, taking the time to just pray right now. Or again, if you want to take Shavasana, go ahead. But just close, close your eyes, take rest somehow, however you want to do it. If your baby was awake, you could always hold your baby to your chest. If you're enjoying, whether you're in Shavasana or you're enjoying your meditation or your prayer for humanity, go ahead and stay there. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I really appreciate you guys staying subscribed to my channel um, during my break, and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks.